What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tip for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a really fast way to change your object origin inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one of the things that can get a little bit uh, frustrating inside of Blender is when you add a mesh, like a cube, like this one, it initially comes in with an object origin, which is this little orange point right in the middle of your object. And so the object origin is basically the point around which your operations happen. So if I was to scale this box, right, it scales based on the central point. So if I was to rotate it, it rotates based on the central point as well. Well, a lot of the time, especially when we're doing like architectural style applications, we don't necessarily want to do that. What we want to do is we want to have this on a corner because usually what we're going to do is we're going to align an object based on a corner. And then if we do any rotations, we'll do it based on that. So this is something that's probably more for like precision style modeling. Well, in the past, what we've done is we've done some things with uh, the 3D cursor and setting your 3D cursor and then setting your pivot point and all of that, um, which works fine, but it can be a little bit annoying to do. And so what I found out earlier today is there's also an option under this little options dropdown up here that allows us to transform your object origin. And so what that does is as soon as you check this box, so you click this little drop down and then you set object origin like this, so now if I was to tap G in order to move something, notice how now what's moving around is not the object itself, but rather the object origin. And so what that means is that means that I can rotate and I can also move the object origin anywhere in the 3D space. And so let's say I was to place that on this point and then I was to turn that back off. Now if I was to scale this object, it's gonna scale based on that base point, which I've set on the wall over here. And so what that means is that means that I can now move that origin point around really easily. So I don't have to mess around at the 3D cursor or anything like that in order to set this point. This really gets powerful if you turn on your object snapping. So we've talked a lot about snapping lately, um, again, because it's so important for precision style moving. But if you turn on your object snapping and you set your snapping to vertex, so if I was to turn this on, then move this, you can use this to snap your object origin to any vertex that you want. You could use the other snapping on here as well, but you can basically use this to precisely move that. And so once you're done with that, you can go back into your object options, turn that off, and now you can scale and rotate based on that corner point that you set. So instead of having to go in and mess around with a 3D cursor, you can now use this instead. And so one place this might be valuable is if you had two walls like these and you wanted to align them. So for example, let's say that I was to move this over. We have object snapping turned on so I can move this so that it aligns with this corner point. But let's say I wanted to set this so that it's aligned with this corner point, and now I wanted to rotate it so that it's perpendicular to this wall. Well, you can see how I can't do that right now because it moves the object, right? So it's moving the object based on this central point at the center of mass. Well, what we want to do is we want to go up into the options up here, adjust the origin, and move it down to this corner. Well, once we move it down to this corner, then if we turn that back off, we can rotate this by tapping the R key, the Z key, and notice how now I can rotate this around that corner point like this without it moving around. So this can be really valuable again for like CAD style applications. Notice how also we could use this to scale. And we're going to set our snapping so that it affects our scale, but now we could use this to scale based on that corner point, and you can set your snapping to scale something so that it aligns with this corner right here. So being able to quickly set this point to the corner using this tool is extremely valuable if you're doing this kind of modeling. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you know this was here? Have you been using it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.